Hello everyone, it's New York Railfan202 here, and today we're going to be continuing Engines of Metro North by discussing the GP35R and BL14 CG work locomotives. This is the second and final part of the work locomotives episode. In part one, we discussed the first set of Metro North's work locomotives that have since been retired, the GEB23-7, the Alco RS3M, and the EMD GP8 and GP9. In this part, we will talk about Metro North's work locomotives that are still in service today, the EMD GP35R and Brookville BL14CG. Now without further ado, let's get started. In the early 1960s, General Motors' Electromotive Division's General Purpose Series of Locomotives was proving to be extremely popular with railroads as they were the most common four-axle road switcher on American railroads at the time. Competition in the market was fierce and EMD needed to keep upgrading their models to keep them at the top of the road switcher market. EMD's GP30 road switcher was selling quite well at the start of the 1960s, but EMD wanted to update and upgrade the model. So in 1963, EMD ended production of the GP30 and started production of the GP35. The GP35 was extremely similar to the GP30, but came with a more powerful turbocharged EMD V16 567D38 prime mover with 2,500 horsepower. The units had a top speed of 65 miles per hour, and like all of EMD's general purpose locomotives, rode on a B-B wheel arrangement. EMD produced 1,251 from 1963 to when production stopped in 1965. In the early 1990s, Metronorth was using its inherited fleet of work locomotives, which consisted of a single Alco RS3M number 605, seven GEB 23-7s numbered 801 to 807, and an EMD GP8 numbered 543, and a GP9 numbered 750. But Alco RS3M 605 was almost 40 years old and not suited to the needs of the railroad. The GEB 23-7s were leased from GE and in 1993 the lease expired and Metro North returned them. These units were then purchased by BNSF and still wore their Metro North paint but are now out of service. Metro North decided to replace the GE B23-7s and their single Alco RS3M with rebuilt GP35 locomotives classified as GP35Rs. Metro North selected six Conrail GP35s for the railroad to rebuild at their Junetta shops. The GP35s that Metro North selected had some history behind them. Conrail 3641, which was built as Reading Company 3641 in August of 1964, was then rebuilt into Metro North 101 in November of 94. Conrail 2271 was built as Pennsylvania Railroad 2271 in May of 1964, which then became Penn Central 2271 and was rebuilt as Metro North 102 in December of 1994. Conrail 2251 was built as Pennsylvania Railroad 2310 in November of 64 and then was renumbered to Pennsylvania Railroad 2251 which became Penn Central 2251 and was rebuilt into Metro North 103 in March of 1994. Conrail 2350 was built as Pennsylvania Railroad 2350 in February of 1965, which then became Penn Central 2350, which was rebuilt into Metro North 104 in April of 1994. Conrail 3637 was built as Reading Company 3637 in August of 1964 and was rebuilt as Metro North 105 in December of 1993. And lastly, Conrail 2274, which was built as Pennsylvania Railroad 2274 in May of 1964, which became Penn Central 2274, which was then rebuilt into Metro North 106 in May of 1994. This rebuild modified the original engine by removing the turbocharger to improve reliability but also reduced the engine's power from 2,500 horsepower to just 2,000. The units emerged in Metro North's blue and white paint scheme, similar to what the GP8 and GP9 had. With the addition of these units, Metro North also retired Alco RS3M 605, which is now preserved at the Danbury Railway Museum. The GP35R is carried on in service, being one of the most reliable engines on the railroad but most of their components were original, having been built in 1964 or 65, which was almost 50 years ago. Metro North had been receiving a lot of Brookville equipment, most notably the BL20GH in 2008, so Brookville got the contract to upgrade these units in 2013. 
It was at this time that Metro North decided to add to its fleet of work locomotives. In addition to the six GP35Rs Metro North already had, the railroad added two standard GP35s to the program, numbered Metro North 107 and 108. Metro North 107 was built as Sioux Line 728, which was then transferred to the Wisconsin Central, numbered 728. It was then renumbered as Wisconsin Central 2554. It was then sold to the U.S. Rail Corporation, Jackson, Florida Division, numbered 351. Then it was sold to OnTrack Rail Services, numbered 351. And it was finally sold to Great Miami, numbered 351. The unit was then placed up for sale in 2012, where Metro North purchased the unit and added it to the rebuild contract. Metro North 108 was built to Chicago and Northwestern 831, and was transferred to the Wisconsin Central, numbered 831, where it was sold to the Fox River Valley Railroad, numbered 831. The unit was then purchased by Larry's Truck and Electric, a locomotive leasing company, where the unit operated on several railroads as number 355 until it was put up for sale in 2013, where Metro North added it to the rebuilding contract. Even though the rebuild was contracted to Brookville, the trucks and engines were standardized by Norfolk Southern at the railroad's Juneta shops. Norfolk Southern completely rebuilt the trucks and swapped the engines for a V16 EMD 645 prime mover. This was essentially the same engine they already had, as there are few differences between an EMD 567 without a turbocharger and an EMD 645 prime mover. The power output of the prime mover did not change, as the GP35Rs still had 2,000 horsepower. After Norfolk Southern completed the work, the units were sent to Brookville, where the locomotives were stripped down to the frame and restored. Brookville also added new technology to the units to control their emissions. The new electronic control system can now be used to diagnose problems, making the units easier to maintain. After the units were tested for emissions by Norfolk Southern and CSX, Number 105 was sent to Metro North for testing. The railroad was happy with the unit's improved performance and it entered service on October 24, 2015, in a paint scheme similar to the Metro North owned BL20 GHs. A second unit, 107, entered service a few days later. A second unit, numbered 107, entered service a few days later, and between 2015 and 2017, the remaining six locomotives would be sent out for rebuilds ending with Unit 108 at the end of 2017. It has been three years since the completion of the rebuild program, and the engines are just as reliable, but easier to maintain, making the rebuild by Brookville an ultimate success. The BL14 CG locomotive is a new type of low-emitting generator set locomotive. A generator set, or gen set locomotive, does not have one prime mover. It has a few smaller prime movers that are individually controlled. If the engine is idling, it can shut down all but one engine to help control emissions and fuel consumption. But if a heavy load is placed on the unit, it can fire up all of its engines for maximum power. The BL14CG is no different from a typical Gen Set locomotive with two 700 horsepower engines that combine for a total of 1400 horsepower. The locomotives also have regenerated braking. Once only on electric locomotives, the BL14CG uses the energy created when braking to generate electrical power for things like lights and HVAC systems to reduce fuel burn. With the BL14 CG's features that help produce few emissions compared to other diesel locomotives made it appealing to Metronorth. So, Metronorth ordered two units from Brookville, which were received in 2009. With the confined spaces in Grand Central Terminal restricting diesel engine movements due to their emissions, the BL14 CG offered a low emission alternative for operating in Grand Central. With their low emissions, they can operate in Grand Central for longer without reducing air quality. With these features, these locomotives operate almost exclusively in Grand Central Terminal, which is why they are painted yellow for better visibility underground. The locomotives carry out maintenance and rescue trains, and sometimes switch cars in the depths of Grand Central. With the introduction of these units, Metro North had no need for the traditional diesel locomotives that performed these jobs. With the introduction of these units, Metro North had no need for the traditional diesel locomotives that performed these jobs, therefore eliminating two maintenance locomotives from Metro North's fleet. As the EMD GP8 and GP9 locomotives were the oldest and most unique of Metro North's maintenance locomotives, they were shortly retired after the BL14 CGs were received in 2010. The BL14 CGs were not as versatile as Metro North would have liked, as while they are great for working in Grand Central, they are not well suited for working outside of the terminal. They are underpowered when compared to the GP35Rs, and since the locomotives lack alerters, they are limited to 25 miles per hour. 
This is why Metro North added two additional GP35's three-build program to supplement the shortcomings of the BL14 CGs. And now we are left with the complete history of Metro North's work locomotive fleet. With the old and reliable GP35Rs and the new and modern BL14 CGs, Metro North's work locomotive fleet can carry out all the maintenance duties needed on the railroad. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, like it. And if you loved it, please subscribe and leave a comment for anything else. And I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye.